What is up guys, it is your boy Speed here, and today, we're back with smurfing from 3 to 4k. I believe we're currently at 3,570, more than half the way there. I've been enjoying this series a ton, like honestly a ton, I really really do enjoy these series. And for today, what do I have to do? Your comment that you guys picked was do a speed run. Very funny, very funny Alessandro, and you said win as fast as possible, my challenge is to do a speed run, I gotta win as fast as possible. Pick the hero you feel helps you do this the best. And so I had a couple of heroes in mind. You'll see on the hero that I ended up choosing. Yeah, I had a couple of heroes in mind. I had Beastmaster, Brood, Prophet, Lycan. You could pick some other lane dominators, you know? Like a hero like Undying could be okay, but that's unreliable. It requires your team to, to do a lot of stuff. So I went with Beastmaster. Now, Honestly, I it's a pretty... They got some good heroes against Beast. They have the Underlord for the D-Push. They got PA and lane, which... It's, it's... I would say it goes both ways. You know, Blur is good against me, but I can probably run over. And then CM. CM is pretty good against Beast. Oh my god, this guy has like 7,000 matches. And he's Legend 1. He's got to get a game leaf sub. But, um... Yeah, so... She might be able to Frostbite my my boars. We'll see if she does that or not. But that's that tends to be why CM can be pretty good against uh, against Beast. In general, she's actually pretty good. You know, all of her spells are, are good against physical damage heroes, so... Yeah, let's get into it. Let's try to end this game as fast as possible. And by the way, remember, a couple things before we hop into the gameplay. Get your game leaves up right now. Come on. Don't skip. I already saw some of you click the video with your thumb and you're ready to double tap. Or you already double tapped. Well, if you already double tapped, you're not seeing this, but you get the point, right? Don't skip. Help your boy speed. So I want to end as fast as possible, so I'm going to go a very greedy item build. I'm going to lead with a, a Sage's Mask. You know, it's not a good item for trading, right? It doesn't really help you in your laning stage. However, however, it is obviously pretty good for the matter regen for DeBoer. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, also, I forgot to mention, like the video, subscribe, help out your boys, and comment down below what you want me to play next, right? You want me to play safe lane Jug? You want me to play mid lane Wraith King? Or... Off lane Spectre? I'm not going to do that. Don't comment that. I'm, more, I'm not going to do it. If it gets the most likes, I'm still not going to do it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, wow, I actually like my team comp a lot. We have like the old Liquid team comp. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but when Liquid is like the current alliance, it pick... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, when... It's just like Liquid would pick like Storm, Beastmaster, Phoenix, and like they would pick it like pretty consistently, but nice. We got the two beasts, the two boars for the lane. Here we go. Now we can run in. That is the worst arrow I've ever seen. Oh, nice. She frostbited the wrong one. Now I can deny it. Oh, look at this damage. Doosh! I got one more auto attack. You doosh! Okay. Um, for this lane, I definitely want to buy a stick. Okay, the CM is already going to be out of mana. So, she's used quite a bit of frostbite, so I'll pick up one more set of tangos. They will be chipping me down a lot. Then I'm probably going to buy a stick. I'm just against the Phantom Assassin CM. I expect to have a lot of spells cast against me. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's gonna be the vibe of this laning stage. Alright, yeah, so she knows what she's doing in terms of frostbiting my creep, which is fine. Oh my god, an immediate arrow onto the PA. We're not gonna kill her, but I can definitely do a lot of damage. Oh, maybe we do kill her. Oh. Oh, okay. That's... Alright. <laughs> well, that's good. We already have our stick now. Good for my Murana. Nice arrow. Even though I'm not a fan of those arrows usually, like... Usually I'm a much bigger fan of throwing your arrows in the intent to, sorry, in the intent to arrow range creeps. Like I'd really rather this guy just push in my range creeps because then if he pushes in the range creep here, like he just arrows this, we can just start trading. Like literally if he does that, we, I can just start throwing um, my body at the PA and it's viable. But now, you know, th with this range creep being here, it's a little bit difficult for me to do. Oh my God, I just got the nine. All right. Also, she should have side pulled here. I don't, this Mirana doesn't really have a good concept of laning, unfortunately, like she should be arrowing the range creeps and then side pulling. Basically, the concept is you push the lane in and then, right, you push the lane in and then you pull it back and you rinse repeat and it's really good for trading. Ooh, CS God. Okay, things are going pretty well. Keep the lane back. I need more solo XP. Yeah, so this Murana is kind of screwing my game, so you guys should learn. It's not, okay, she's not really screwing my game. That was very, um, that was very aggressive, right? She's not screwing my game. She's just making it harder because basically she's sapping a lot of XP, but not really doing anything. She's just kind of like standing there. 
She's not autoing the CM. Right? She's not autoing CM. She's not autoing range creeps. Like, now I'm... Okay, thank god the enemy sucks, because I can just hit that for free, which I shouldn't have been able to. But, like, she's not really doing anything. Now she's, like, mid, and she didn't pull. So, learn from that, guys. If you're playing 4 or 5, you need to you need to manipulate waves and secure creeps. Otherwise, like, you're really hurting your offlaner uh, a lot. Right, I'm just gonna pull this back. Uh, I kind of want to stay in range. She's denying it anyway, so I'll stay in range for the range creep. I meant XP range for that deny. Sure, it does get denied anyway, but XP is XP. I was hoping to bait the CM in there. I need solo XP. God, like, she's just gonna walk over? Like, her arrow's on cooldown, right? Her arrow's on cooldown. Oh my god, two nukes for my board? Jesus! I get it, you don't like the border. How much mana regen has she used for that? She's frostbitted every single one. That's insane. Alright, I don't need all these mana regen items. I'll replace one for now. So, yeah, this mana keeps... Uh, Alright, I'm gonna literally have to spoon feed her what she needs to do next time. Okay, she doesn't need to... Ru Rumming mid could be okay, right? Maybe she gets a kill, right? However, however, what she could also do is just side pull for me, right? CM. What the heck? She just leaped. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm flaming Marana so much. It's just like, it's like very noticeable. I don't know. There's not much for me to do besides CS and complain about my Marana. <laughs> My cut, she's literally double nuking every one of my creeps. Insane. Get it, do something, Marana! Oh my god, I'm gonna blow my brains out! What the fuck? Do something! What it? I'll just pop myself in the trees. Like, literally, I... I don't think I've seen a more useless support in this bracket. This is, like, 3.5. This isn't that low. What is she doing? She's walking around in circles. Do something, hit somebody, pull something, arrow some range creep. Don't try that. Something. I mean, it's not like, right, my game is still good, guys. I'm still probably going to crush the game, so it's not that big of a deal. But, like, it's just confusing. Like, why is it? We could be doing so well. Like, I feel like I could be winning this lane, not doing, like, even, you know? But I am level 5 to the P is level 3. The CM is sapping an incredibly large amount of XP. Can't wait for the nuke. Nice. Secure the boar, baby. Another blind arrow, of course. You know, the classic. You always want to play PA. I and mean, that's how you always want to play Murana. Just chuck a bunch of blind arrows. Kidding? Don't do that. No way. She's going to auto attack? No way. Oh my god. Oh, I'm lagging. What? Oh, okay. Are you out of leech? Why is she has a leech charge? Why isn't she going for the kill? <sighs> I'm not even gonna say anything anymore. I'm not even gonna say anything anymore. I'm just not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say anything. It's fine. I shouldn't have stepped up so far. I shouldn't expect this Marana to actually secure a kill or anything like that, or actually hit an arrow. It's fine. At least my storm is solo killing their Zeus, right? That's good. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, he's got him, he's got him. Nice. Alright, so I'm gonna side pull for myself here, hopefully. Might be a little bit late. Basically, I need to get this lane back, it's way too far up, so... Hopefully I can clip this, nice. Oh no, it's gonna die. No, I need to get vision of the other creeps. Oh, yes. Alright, we're chilling now, we're in a good spot. We're gonna get the lane back here, can jungle up, and get my level 6. Fairy Trinket, I'll keep that for now, just for the HP. Storm monster, yeah, that's fine. Usually I'd be more greedy, but it's pretty important to give Storm that item. Okay, we got our Necro 1. PA wants to get auto attack. I don't know how I'm going to end this game early. I'm going to end up throwing trying to do this challenge. <laughs> okay, so now I have level 2 boars. I should be able to uh, kill her. Usually you can kill um, enemy carries. Once you have Necro 1 and 2 boars, you usually can go for a kill. She's really dagger spamming me. I'm going to probably buy self. Alright, CMs TPing in. They're going to go for a kill on me. 
Basically, the key when they go for kills is to play the outside, play your units. But uh, I can, honestly, I might just attempt a kill here just to, like, chip her down. So I'll roar her. It's going to be a very difficult kill. I'll pop this out. Yeah, and honestly, I think that's okay. That's like a... Th that's me making a bit of a theory play, but... Um, basically, the theory there is that by going on the PA, I drop her HP and now she can't pressure me, which which is kind of nice, right? It feels good. I definitely feel like she, I can't be pressured anymore. Now I should be able to even siege in the tower. Because PA is a hero that lacks sustain, right? She can't just, like, go heal up. It's not like CM's gonna heal her, and so... I think that... I don't know. I, I feel like that just worked. That, I feel like that worked very well, actually, so... I don't know. Lesson learned, guys. You can learn something from that. And we'll get a tier 1 off this. Sick. Sick, sick. Oh, I didn't get the CS done, but... Pop. Okay, we're not going to catch that guy. That's fine. And now we'll go back to farming for a little bit. Been a little bit of farming, slow down the pace of the game, get our clarities, got our items coming. Now we're gonna go Necro 3. After the Necro 3, probably into AC. I'm a big fan of drums, even though like you already have attack speed. I'm just like a big fan of drums on these these aura heroes. It makes you push like ridiculously fast. And yes, even on you know Beastmaster, I still think it's pretty good. So I'll try it out and I'll let you guys know. It could be really good for pushing. I'm probably dead here. Okay. Alright. I'll do as much damage as I can before I die. Hello? Oh my god. What the? She was 11 health. You nearly died to that. She's just getting spoon-fed salves. What is this? Looks like my bottom lane got absolutely clapped. Holy, dude. What the? The Underlord took the tower? That seems interesting. I guess it's a thing. Well, it's gonna be very hard for me to end the game against the Mega Underlord, but... For now, I'm, I'm gonna have to spend some time jungling. There's just no way I can end the game with, with how it's going right now. It's just not possible. Oh god, there's ancient stacks? Why did we stack the ancients? Who's taking ancient stacks? Like, look at our team comp. Who's killing this? Why do we have a triple ancient stack? I can't even farm it now. What the fuck? Why are my supports messing everything up this game? Do something correct. I'm usually not this tilted, but I think I'm just in a bad mood because... I just accidentally abandoned a game because I had to go get a package at the door and it made me miss it. We'll farm it up. We'll play our split pushing Beastmaster. Even though my game is very hampered, it's not going nearly as well as I would hope it would usually be. That is all right. We should be able to recover. Beastmaster is incredibly good at farming. He's incredibly good at catching up and uh, kind of just speeding through the game, which is nice because that's kind of the challenge here. We're supposed to speed run through the game. So hopefully we can now begin to amp our farm in typical Beastmaster fashion. And yeah, really the key to Beastmaster is usually just to play in one lane. I see them coming here, so I'm going to have to back up. But yeah, you'll see. She's... I can actually... Oh, no. Oh, my God. They're all here. Yeah, that's fine. And and really, it's it's good. I'm forcing a lot of rotations. I'm, like, forcing their PA to hit some boars, you know? Like, good for me. It's This is good for us. Our team in general. And I'll continue to put Hawks in their jungle. You notice how I'm just keeping this vision and I'm warded with the Hawks. But my Storm's going in, so obviously I'll help him out. Oh my god, he is going crazy. He does have an Arcane Rune, but that is some horrible zipping. I might be able to find the CM lingering. No, okay. Nice, double kill for my guy. Good job, Storm. He's got that Arcane Rune. He's got that- Oh my god, he has Arcane Rune and DD at the same time? Jesus. That's the that's the Storm Wamo combo. Okay, so yeah. um, I'll continue to pressure in this lane. As I said, it's- it's a bit dangerous because of how underfarmed I am. I'm still like one of the strongest heroes on the map, if not the strongest hero on the map. It kind of just depends who's here. If I'm against the Underlord, I'm definitely not the strongest, so I'll have to be a bit careful. But against the other heroes, I'm pretty dang strong. We can't kill them. We don't have anyone who can take stacks. Like, what does this guy think? Who is Storm about to like nuke the stacks down? Ancient stacks? I don't think that works. Unless I'm missing something. I know they make ancients easier to kill now, but I don't know. I don't know. What is this Zeus here? I'm just gonna roar him and kill him. Hello? Probably gonna kill this PA too. I'll just kite her out. <laughs> oh, that's typical Beastmaster. 
That's literally typical beast. Dude, this hero is so broken in these pubs because, like, people don't know how much damage you do. So they walk up because they're, like, not used to it. They walk up and then, you know, they're just insta-dead. In order to kill Beastmaster, you literally need to, like, smoke gank him with multiple heroes. And that's kind of why this hero is good. Uh, especially right now, now that they buffed the Necro, it's, like, a pretty high uptime. So you are basically always have Necros and can always just take over the enemy side of the map. And I can honestly hit this tower here in a little bit. I mean... I want to force the TPs. I do need to be a bit careful. I have no roar, no eight, like no HPs, so I'll chill a bit. Oh, my storm is taking this, which kind of sucks. This kind of neat, but I'll walk over here and see if I can take this stack now. Oh, that's dead. Okay, so this one's dead, which is fine because someone can obviously take that. This ancient, <laughs> this ancient stack is crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> Definitely a good BKB game. I'm gonna want to BKB at some point. Does Storm want this rune too? No. I can honestly kill Underlord. I think if he's if he's here and I have my Storm come. Oh man, they have a lot of heroes here. I'll try to roar the Quap. No, okay. I'm gonna put my units on the the CM and they'll basically solo kill her. I know she's ulting. Oh, <laughs> she killed the Necro one. Oh, run. All right, that's fine. Oh, well, that was good. My storm's getting super enabled. Yeah, that's fine. That's also the thing about beasts that's so funny. Like you get gone on, they kill you and your beasts are, I mean, your units are still alive. One mistake I made there is I didn't hawk. I don't know why I didn't hawk that before I ran in. That's quite bad, actually. I'll take this possessed mask. That's a really good item, actually. Um, and yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to try out the drums. I'm a big fan of it. I'll buy drums and I'm going to pick up this. This. This will give me some early survivability. How's my Murata doing? Buying a Glimmer Cape? Alright, I can I can get behind that. I can get behind that. And kind of back to farming. It's a, it's a hard game for me to speedrun, guys. They have Zeus Underlord. Like, what am I going to do? Run up run up into a Zeus Underlord? I don't think that's going to work. Don't think it's going to work. Uh oh, my Storm is very far up. Okay. Thankfully, he's not dead. Look at this push. So much damage. So I do got the wards. I mean, I do got this hawk at this camp. I, I should get one a little bit closer, though. Right here is good. Yeah, I can't really run at this guy. So I'm going to try to collapse on mid. I'm going to come mid. So I see this guy top. So now I can shift on mid here. Walk up, walk up. Oh, I should have these. I should have my necros out right now so I can deward. That's a mistake. So if you're ever going to run through an area with no vision, you want to have your necros out so that you can see what's going on. I mean, so you can see if you're running through a ward or not. It's really important. And yeah, you can kind of just clear through the jungle like this. I don't really want to hit this tower, because then they know where I am, but I'll hit it real quick. No, see, there's Zeus. I shouldn't hit it. I'm going to roar this guy. don't think he's that tanky, actually. Yeah, he dies. This hero's ridiculous, dude. He's just... This Underlord, full HP, dead. Doesn't seem like he bought, like, a Vanguard, though, which is probably a mistake on him. You know, he's not optimizing his build to prevent me from killing people, and... You know, I'm definitely the biggest threat in the early game. I guess Storm is very farmed, so he is, you know, a big threat. I'm not, like, trying to deplay the Storm. I'm just saying that my hero is naturally, like, one of those heroes you, you often want to build around. Because if you don't, you can get run over and just die. Even if you're frontlining, right? Which, you know, for Underlord, he needs to make sure he builds in a way that prevents him from dying on the front line. Okay, so we cut the creep wave. I'm not going to worry about these creeps. They'll die naturally. I'll just farm and I'll cut the next wave as well. And we can kind of just rinse repeat this now and eventually we'll get to the point where you can just end the game and I will buy an AC and I'm going to try to, I'm going to do what I said, right? I'm going to stick to my gut. I'm not going to show up to team fights and I'll try to end the game by just split pushing. We'll see how that goes. I feel like I'm going to get smoke ganked right now. I don't see anybody. Like I literally don't see anybody. Oh, and there's the quab. So I can maybe just kill her if they don't have vision of me. So I got these necros out. Oh, I'll kill the Zeus. Free. <laughs> see a loser. I can maybe kill the quab too if he's not careful. Right, I'll try. I'll try my luck on this guy. And look at it. Look at this. Literally getting dumpstered. So I do have to kite out. Looks like I'm probably dead. All right, that's fine. I'll run this creep away. Just to try to waste your time. All right. Yeah, I. I literally said I like. I feel this gang coming. <laughs> I probably should have backed a bit earlier. That's okay. I'm not too mad about that. But there's quicksilver. There's bullwhip in base. Bullwhip's really good. One of my supports should be taking bullwhip. My Mirana doesn't have a neutral item. Mirana, you should take the bull whip. Gives you some mana. I felt like that was a good sales pitch. Surely she'll buy it now. 
Unless she has people muted. I can see that. Marana, there's a whip. Like, realistically, I'm just gonna rinse repeat what I was doing. Like, look at my beast. I mean, look at my Wraith King, guys. You see how farmed he is? You see how he's not getting pressured? Like, this is what my playstyle does. I'm not, like... I'm not 8-0. I'm not 12-0. I'm not, like, crazy popping off. I don't have the most farm in the world. This isn't the most efficient thing, but... It, it creates an unbelievably easy game for my Storm and my Wraith King. Because Storm, like, I'm getting gone on constantly, so he can pick his targets, which makes it easy for him to stay alive. And on top of that, I'm killing people, too, in the process. It's not perfect, but I'm killing. I'm definitely killing people quite often. I'm going to take the armor talent this game. I, I'm lacking some armor. I'll definitely get some more when I have AC, but I think for now it's good. I don't I don't think I need mana regen. I should be all right. Once again, I'll keep hawking this area. Here comes the Underlord. Not surprising. Can you guys smoke the top? We have Wraith King ulti. We can fight them. Hit an arrow. I'm running mid to you. Okay, so we got the smoke going here. Wraith King, you want to smoke with us? <laughs> I love these people. Alright, whatever. We don't need Storm. Can you go on this guy's Storm? Right now? Let me jump someone. Storm, go. Hello, Storm! Look at this damage. I'm gonna ulti the CM if I can. And now they're all dead! Smoke, baby! Let's rack some. Here we go! Oh god, there goes their base! All, all you need is a little bit of smoke coal. The enemy team absolutely crumbles because no one ever reads smokes. And now it's a GG. I also put a hawk down in their in my bottom side jungle. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, the racks are dead. Got another drums charge too. Put my axe is in there for good measure. We thrown. <laughs> we thrown. Oh, the speed run! It actually might come in effect! Come on, guys, commit. Oh, pussy. This is such a bad play. I can't believe my team is following me. <laughs> this is so bad. I'm dying. Same as it Yules? Help! No! Don't abandon! No, help! <laughs> Alright, I have Necros, get in there. Oh, whoops. It's pretty awkward to put that on a boar. Why are they defending? My challenge. I need them to stop defending. I got them dying. Dang it. So close. We can't kill the rest. They're a bunch of backline heroes. I'm literally gonna die. Wraith, can you have ulti? Get in there. Storm, come here. Come jump them. We end. I need to I need to get my team with us. There is I can't do this. Gotta lifesteal with my mask a little bit. Nice, nice. Nice team. Nice. Nice. Yes! It's working! Don't dive, don't dive. We end as fast as possible. It's very important. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it actually worked! What? That's so funny. <laughs> One smoke gank and we just win. <laughs> uh, that's great. Well, I just proved to you how you can end in, I guess, less than 25 minutes. You just gotta get really... I mean, not necessarily. It's not gonna work every time. I mean... I had a really nice team comp, like, my team comp went was really well, and my Storm crushed, to be fair. He, he popped off that game, so, you know, props to him. That made that, that made that much easier than it should have been. Even if he didn't pop off, like, let's say it was even, I still think, like, our team comp's very solid, and I think, uh, with one little smoke play, we can just kind of get on top of them and, and kill them. But, I don't know, that, that, that felt great, like, created a lot of space. Look at this, you know, this is the power of Beastmaster. Even though my Storm's 8-1, and one, look, I almost have the same net worth as him, right? Isn't that crazy, guys? Literally, this guy is this guy is eight and one. I'm seven and four. I mean, I've only one more assist and I've died three more times, but it doesn't matter because my hero just it pushes in so many waves. He even had more CS than me, but uh, I I push in so many lane creeps and 
I'm constantly like threatening big kills and part of big kills and so yeah, if you want an off laner to win, or honestly, you could literally pick Beastmaster safe lane and you'll probably still crush. Beastmaster mid is legit as well. Even support Beastmaster. I'm just a big fan of this hero right now. I think Necrobooks and drums being in a good place is nice. I know people are hate on the drums vibe, but I don't know. I I, I think it's good. I love how they're flaming the PA pick. I mean, I don't think it's like the best PA game for sure, but I love how they're not like even mentioning the fact that Zeus is two and six. Is that not a problem? Or like the fact that Quap's two and five or all right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, comment who you want me to play next. And peace. But yeah, that's going to be about all, folks. Remember, click the link down below and subscribe to the Game Leap website where we have thousands of videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.